So after I changed, I began to teach. I mean, I felt like I was being poured into so much, almost like a reservoir that has only rivers flowing in and no outflow. But I always felt this little tinge that when I got into a, the classroom, we had eight pages to go through and there was a beginning, a middle and the end. And by golly, we were gonna get through it. And if you had a question, we would talk about it, but we weren't gonna go there. And so I decided that I was gonna give the spirit ultimate sway. And I was gonna walk into a classroom with a hundred people in it without a note written down. And I'd kind of worked out in my head how this was going to work. And as I got closer, I got a little more fearful. But that Thursday night, I got this vision of the gospel. And I mean vision like a lowercase v. But I saw it, and I saw something as clear as you could see a picture, a painting, and you could describe the story that's going on in that painting. I saw this picture of the gospel. And I didn't know it at the time, but when I later wrote it down, it had 12 points to it. And it started with, in the beginning, God. I walked into that class on that Sunday and I gave that lesson and it was great. It was by far the best lesson I'd ever given and I knew that there was something special to it and I knew I had to share it, but I didn't know how. And so that's the power of this story, that, that, that a little lesson that I gave in a classroom over a year ago has been heard in 57 countries, like 800 times in Dubai. It should have been downloaded five times, but 8,000 times. There's something to Christianity that we've missed, and I believe it's this gospel story. When that becomes our fundamental, when that becomes the thing by which we make all of our decisions, things change.